Hello, this is Gary Wishon, the disgruntled heathen. I'm sure by, a lot of you by now have heard about the Diana Ali. For those of you who haven't, she's, I'll give you a brief summary. She's someone who was trying to flee Saudi Arabia for asylum in Australia. Held and detained by the Philippine police so she can be dragged back to Saudi Arabia by her family. In all likelihood, she's dead. I'll leave a link down below to Kraut and T's video. And the subject, he's like Shakespeare. Very eloquent. Forceful. I'm like a thumb to the eye. I'm feeling rage. No shortage of it. Because even though I'm a rage monster, I know what it's like to be dark. I've always held a human life to be more valuable than an opinion on a book. When your religion does not improve the quality of your life or the quantity of the years somebody lives, your religion is shit. And you're an idiot for not realizing it. I want to this. I want to talk to everyone on Twitter or everyone who's ever taken part in an honor killing or forced other people to join in an honor killing. This is not a threat. This is me just spotting the fucking obvious. Something you don't need a crystal ball for. Once you kill, and you force somebody to help you kill, the force could be physical or the force could be emotional, but it's force. They know you're a killer. Consider that. That person who you force to do it. Has to, has to live with the fact that they did it. You don't know what's going on in their heads. They might have been able to wrap their mind around once, but twice? Yes, this happened to this person, but it better not happen to my mom or my sister, or my aunt. What time bomb is going off in their heads? You have to consider that. You also have to consider the fact that there's Muslims out there, like Majid, Majid Nawaz, who want a kinder, peaceful, form of Islam, who is disgusted by your behavior, the behavior of people like you. No one should die in the name of a book written by a sociopath, pedophile, 1400 years ago. A book that is so riddled with the obscenities and absurdities that they actually think that the sun goes down into a bog and worships at the feet of Allah, that the world is flat. I'll leave a link to the Mask Arabs takedown of the Quran 
Oh, how I wish I had a Quran right now. I would burn it. Because when you sacrifice a human life with the potential of a greatness it could achieve, achieve for a book that is a disgusting act on the level me and my worst day could not even hope to match. Like I said, you have people in your lives that you don't know what's going on in their heads. I wouldn't be you for all the money in the world. Or an N72 virgins. I wouldn't be you because I have some issues with my family. You know, they're not all happy that I'm an atheist. But I can go to a family reunion, swallow a fistful of melatonin, and go to sleep. And no, no one's going to fucking kill me out of self-defense or in the defense of others. They might want to have an argument with me about me being an atheist, but they will never lay a hand on me because I'm an atheist. I have no grounds to hurt anyone in the name of atheism. You do in the name of your religion. Sleep tight, motherfuckers. The time of your bullshit's about to end. Goodbye.